Well, it's finally Friday and I'm back doing some repairs on the, the uh, side that I did before uh, in episode three or part three of this uh, bodywork video. So uh, let's see what's going on. All right, so I mentioned last time that it's getting some burn through uh, on the uh, butt welds here. Uh, flex core welding is not optimal, I don't think, for uh, doing butt welds. For lap joints, it works perfectly fine. Uh, also, this metal is not 18 gauge. The rest of the metal is, I think it's 20, here's a sticker on it, maybe 20. Uh, two or something like that but anyway uh, what I did is I found some wire coat hangers and I'm filling in the gap and welding around the wire which gives a little bit uh, uh, more surface area and then what will happen is this will just be ground down so what I did is I got a long piece and what I'm going to do is just kind of wrap this around and fill the gap here with the wire sort of like that and we'll tack weld that up in there and then we'll clip that off so that's what I intend to do on all these even though some of these burn throughs are pretty pretty hefty we'll, uh, we'll get it done all right so that's what we're doing I'll be back and see how this works okay to everybody's pleasure probably I'm keeping the uh, videos to a minimum here so uh, I'm calling this done for now. All right, I did this on the outside. Uh, it's all gonna be, hopefully, <laughs> tapped down. These seams. And then they'll be filled with the body putty. Uh, seen it done a thousand times online. Also, uh, hopefully you can see in here. Uh, the inner panel is all all done as well, so no more no more rust on the inside, and that will be coated with uh, this stuff. I can never think of it. Uh, Undercoat. Uh, filled in some of my welds here. Filled in some holes that were here. So this is uh, getting getting closer to the body putty area. So I think I'm going to do something different on the other side with this guy because it's way too difficult. But I am happy with the structural end of it. Uh, and uh, like I said, we will make it work one way or another. All right, so I think I am going to take a little bit of a break on this and maybe uh, take a look at the other side, see what I have to do with that. Okay, uh, starting on the uh, driver's side now, and uh, this is what I have. I've already cut off the bottom part of the uh, uh, trunk extension. Actually, the rest of it was already gone, So, and I've just started uh, trimming out, taking out some of this bad metal here. Kind of just uh, give me some exploratory surgery type of thing. See, I got some some bumps here. It looks like it's good to about here, which gives me plenty of room with the patch panel that I have for this side. And as far as this metal goes, it's pretty good. Up. This is a little thin right here, so I'll probably come up a little bit because again, I have plenty. But actually, the lower I go here, the better it will be to feather in the, the fill so I'm going to try to keep as much of this metal as possible um, I know I'm going to have a similar situation if you remember when we removed the back, the, the bumper that there is some spots back here that I will have to uh, fill in too but again I think I have a little bit more experience now from doing the other side uh, which is not finished all the way I still have uh, uh, body filler and all to do that but uh, I want to do all the welding first and then I'll do the uh, 
uh, body filler and the, the more detailed stuff. But I, for the, I want to crank out the uh, welding. Let's see. And then I have this to deal with. Uh, good news on this, uh, hopefully good news, is that I found somebody that has uh, this patch. And, and it looks like it's just going to be uh, right about perfect to um, take care of this mess here. I will have to fabricate the inner panel probably. I don't think the uh, guy has the inner panel, but the inner panel is very easy. Um, as you can see on the other side, I had a heck of a time getting getting that uh, all in, and I'm still not sure how that's going to turn out. But uh, a patch panel on this will be much, much nicer and much neater. So that's where I'm at now. Um, just cutting back uh, some of the stuff, and I'll be back and I'll show you what else we have to deal with. I tell you, getting these bumper bolts off is so much easier the second time around. Uh, I always heard that, and it's better the second time. A lot of innuendo here today. Okay, uh, here's where I'm at. I got the inner panel in. Uh, almost all, uh, almost all uh, welded together. Got some inner welds that we still have to do. But again, I'm getting I'm getting tired. I've been here all day and uh, haven't eaten all day either. So I'm crazy, I know. So got some repairs to do here. That'll be easy. This gets the outer skin that's ready for that as soon as I uh, uh, get the uh, waterproofing on that. And uh, have to do some more welds on here. You just spot weld it in here. But at this point, it's really not going anywhere. All right. So that's what we have at the, at the present time. All right, signing off.